The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Hi everyone, thanks for joining us today and welcome to our webinar. During the webinar, all attendees are in listen-only mode, but do reach out if you have any questions. Please use the question feature to ask anything as we go along. We'll be monitoring the questions and we can answer you straight away. We'll also be answering some of your questions live at the end of the session. So please don't wait until the end to submit your questions or we might run out of time. Please submit your question as soon as you think of it. I'll begin by introducing you to our panel today. My name is Josie Stein and I take care of marketing communications at XMPI. I'll be moderating this session. And I'm joined today by my colleague Igor Vorobechik, who is a senior solutions architect at XMPI. Igor heads up our professional services group, which develops and implements solutions that can be tailored to your specific business needs. Our customers can use Igor's professional services if they need help with developing particular custom in integrations. We are also delighted to have Brady Behrman and Carrie Cress from punch out to go with us. punch out to gos solutions connect supplier e-commerce sites, such as XMPI Storeflow sites, to buyers, using procurement systems. In a moment, we'll be demonstrating exactly how you can integrate your Storeflow site with any e-procurement system by using the punch out to go gateway. But first, I want to briefly explain what e-procurement is and why you should be very excited about it. E-procurement is the business purchase of services or supplies online. An example might be when an enterprise needs to purchase a new laptop for a new employee. The office manager doesn't just run out to the near nearest computer store or search for a suitable product online. Rather, he makes the order and transaction through a preferred online supplier that has an ordering workflow, which is integrated into the e-procurement system selected by the enterprise. Large companies need these systems because they must control their spending across the entire organization. Most of you listening today to this webinar will fall under the supplier category. And in order to maintain or win new business by becoming the preferred supplier to sell to enterprises like Fortune 500 companies, government organizations, educational institutions, etc., you must be able to connect your products to the buyer's procurement system. Another phrase we'll be using a lot during today's webinar is punch out. This is a method for, pur for purchasing from a supplier's website from within a buyer's own e-procurement system. Our web to print solution Storeflow lets print service providers set up websites to supply print collateral online. These sites can support selling anything from hats and shirts to static print items, fully personalized items and complete marketing campaigns. The main part of Storeflow is the U-Store component. And we'll be mentioning this component a lot during this webinar. This is the e-commerce part of Storeflow and it has built in VDP features so that users can customize the print products to each end user. Our VDP software marries design with rules and data-driven content, such as varying images, text, character styles, and colors, enabling the creation of highly flexible creative documents. You can also add a cross-media campaign to your store. Our new feature, Campaigns on Demand, gives the option to offer branded multi-channel campaign flow patterns that include touch points of various media and build campaigns using web, email or mobile development. The end user can select, customize, order, execute and track each campaign directly from the web to print storefront. Users can use real time campaign analytics and download up to date customer data all in a self serve manner. Storeflow web to print sites can be integrated with any e procurement system on the market using the punch out to go service. Once you have this software, you can begin the process of winning new clients and building storefronts for different businesses to order dynamic print supplies from your print shops. With many of your prospects, you can get started on building print ordering sites straight away, but with your enterprise prospects, you will face a unique hurdle and that hurdle is e-procurement. 
The reason we're devoting our webinar today to the subject of e-procurement is because we want to demonstrate how you can win new business from enterprise clients. You may already have set up regular B2B web to print storefronts for your enterprise customers, but with this punch out to go integration, your customers will be able to purchase your products online from you through their procurement system, and that's a game changer. You can set up your storefront as an approved supplier and offer your XMPI based VDP and cross media services through your enterprise clients e procurement systems. And because the integration is prepared and ready, you won't need to spend too much time or effort implementing it. We've already done all the development work for you. It will cut the time to launch in half. As I say, Storeflow supports any type of e-procurement integration. It doesn't matter which e-procurement system your enterprise client is using. You can win the job if you have Storeflow and our Punch Out to Go integration. You can approach enterprises such as banks, universities, pharmaceuticals or government sectors, for instance, because the chance that these organizations have e-procurement is very high and win these jobs because the integration allows you to become an approved supplier. Like our customer Royal Envelope, who became an approved supplier to the TD Bank Group, it has made it easier for their client to do business with them. For your customers, the integration will enhance their shopping experience, streamline the order process, reduce cycle times, lower procurement costs, increase order accuracy and automate the production of invoices. And for your business, the integration will expand your sales reach and product and pricing availability. It has a single sign-on feature, it increases customer satisfaction and there is a faster payment turnaround. And once you've got the business, you'll have stickier clients who won't want to change suppliers. Now, before we get started with the demos in a minute, let's take a look at exactly how the integration works. Punch Out to Go offers an adaptable cloud-based gateway technology that sits between your web to print store and your client's procurement system. It uses a custom used store application layer that will look identical to a regular storefront page and it enables the Storeflow Punch Out to Go integration. This layer is a punch out. That is the mechanism by which the e procurement application makes it possible for a buyer to access the supplier's web to print store from the buyer's own procurement application. The buyer leaves punches out of the application and enters the supplier's storefront catalog. This launches the supplier's website within the buyer's browser frame. The buyer browses the web to print storefront, customizes and personalizes the items before adding them to the shopping cart while both applications maintain their connections. No orders are sent to the supplier when the user checks out from this custom used or application layer. Instead, the shopping cart with the selected items is brought back to the e-procurement application. After the shopping cart is returned, the buyer proceeds through the normal workflow steps, which may include adding additional items to the requisition or cancelling or editing the requisition. The order is only submitted to the supplier when the buyer has actually added the line items to a purchase order and the purchase order is approved and received by the supplier. Now let's see this integration in action. First, we will learn about the punch out to go service from Brady Behrman and then my colleague Igor Vorobaychik will demonstrate how the integration with Storeflow works. Handing over to you then Brady. Great thank you so much Josie. Just gonna... I'm just gonna find you and there we go. Well Josie's uh, switching over the presenter role. Uh, my name is Brady Berman. I am the CEO for Punch Out To Go. Uh, it's an honor to speak with each and every one of you today. Appreciate your time and I hope that you enjoy the uh, the webinar. Uh, you should be able to see my screen now. Josie, can you confirm? Yep. Yep, I can see. Great. Uh, so I started Punch Out To Go in 2011. Uh, we're headquartered in Charlottesville, Virginia with international office in Dublin, Ireland. To, to date, we're supporting tens of thousands of e-procurement integrations in over 40 countries on six continents. 
driving value to help organizations leverage their existing e-commerce e applications and order management systems to connect and do business with their customers on any procurement system. In today's conversation, we're obviously talking about XMPI, uh, but we offer a plethora of technology and solutions uh, that'll tell a great story of, of why this relationship exists between punch out to go and XMPI. Um, we're very good at what we do, obviously, and with that core focus of helping organizations leverage their existing infrastructure, we've actually never lost a customer. We're very proud of that. And it's in part to our due diligence, domain expertise within this space, and our abilities to, to rapidly deploy complex integrations in an easy manner. And we do this today for companies of all sizes, all around the globe, from small mom and pops to big giants and everything in between across all verticals. With this expertise and knowledge, and as you can imagine, the nuances around different industries, again, we've leveraged and built out technologies to deal with anything that could potentially go wrong, any type of integration. Uh, so we bring all that to the plate through, that, through this partnership with XMPI and drive value to help organizations be more successful uh, as it relates to e-procurement integrations. Our offering, uh, very broad, but very specific, uh, to the nature at which that we serve, right? So the core of our uh, our customers are suppliers, sellers, um, you know, like print service providers like yourselves. Um, a lot of different e-commerce applications. Uh, so we support over 40 different packaged e-commerce applications, such as XMPI. Um, over and beyond Punchout, we also support all the other moving documents for orders and invoices, acknowledgements and ship notices, and so forth. 10 years ago or better, when we first did our first punch out integrations, there was only a few large players within the e-procurement space. And these were the Aribas, uh, the SAP, the Oracles, the PeopleSoft. To date, we've connected to over 100 different e-procurement systems around the globe. Coupa is a big, fast grower in the mid-market mid to enterprise. But we're starting to see a gradual shift in small to mid-market organizations that are starting to leverage e-procurement technologies. The web to print space is, a, is, a, is an incredible opportunity for organizations to leverage technology and make it easy for your customers that are leveraging these different types of procurement systems to do business efficiently with you and maintain, obviously, all the brand compliance and so forth, all the great things that XMPI brings uh, to help you leverage that te technology again to do more, or offer more, or land new opportunities within the channels. Uh, prior to Punch Out to Go, companies were faced with bespoke integrations. And what happens is that you may have several customers, for instance, on Ariba, but no two integrations are generally gonna be the same. There are gonna be different requirements. So you end up with this spaghetti mess of, again, kind of custom integrations. It's not scalable in any manner. And that's why companies leverage punch out to go. We come in, we paint this pretty picture, this pretty picture of being able to integrate punch out to go with your applications to then deliver and be able to integrate with any of your customers on any procurement system. The greatest thing about this is the pipe between punch out to go and your applications never changes. All the changes happen within the punch out to go application itself. And it's very easy for us to manage and deal with these things. Another great point is we actually manage these integrations from start to finish with your customers integration team. We speak the same language as they do. And we do this very well, and very efficiently. On average, each integration that we do is measured in hours. Large organizations that go off and try to do these on their own, they measure it in months and sometimes years, right? So it's unprecedented at times to launch these types of integrations. And it's an incredibly sticky opportunity for organizations to, to do more business through these e-procurement channels. They're not going away. It's gonna grow, there's gonna be more needs. Uh, you'll be seeing more and hopefully you'll gain more knowledge in this webinar so that you are open to and, and, and maybe more understanding of the technologies and, and standards that are talked about, maybe as you're responding to RFPs um, or RFXs. Uh, some of the standards at which that you'll come across that you may hear of, you obviously probably have heard of like EDI and IDOC, maybe an X12, these types of documents. Um, more predominantly within the e procurement space, we see CXML for punch out, OCI for punch out that's related to SAP. Um, any of these types of technologies that are these document types that are required, supported, or needed, we support all of them, right? And we support them in a myriad of ways. 
Um, so you'll have the confidence with this XMPI and punch out the go solution that you can do business with any of your customers on any procurement system, no matter what their e-procurement requirements are as it relates to integrations. Uh, so with that, I'm gonna turn it over to our friend Igor uh, for his introduction and a real-time demonstration of what it looks like from a procurement system. Today we'll be using, I think, Coupa, uh, which is a fantastic platform. So without further ado, Igor, I'm gonna pass the ball over to you, sir. Okay, thank you, Brady. And I'd like to check if you guys see my screen right now. Yeah, <clears throat> we see the Cooper software screen. Excellent, thank you. So hi, everybody. My name is Igor Vobechik. I'm the head of XMPI Professional Services. I'm very excited um, uh, to, uh, to share with you our punch out to go uh, integration demo. Uh, with our Storeflow product. Um, Storeflow uh, can be used um, in various workflows and, um, and provide the, uh, uh, be used in B2B and B2C, uh, B2C uh, as well as what we call Industrial Connect workflows. Um, as a service provider, you should be confident that uh, you can uh, provide services to many and uh, different clients as in B2C, as in B2B space, and also for the large enterprises. So today we will concentrate uh, on uh, our uh, in integration with Punch Out to, uh, to Go, which uh, you, uh, by using Punch Out to Go, uh, you should be confident that you can actually offer uh, services to any type of e procurement. And once you place our custom integration layer and open accounts with punch out to go there will be a no question on if you can support uh, uh, any type of e-procurement. It's just a, a matter of configuring. So uh, punch out to go will take care of any specifics of each e-procurement while uh, uh, and maintain a, a single type of communication with XMPI. While in XMPI, you will do what you do best by configuring those marketing materials, uh, web to print product, dynamic product. And if in the future, let's say XMPI is going to add more type of products like uh, dynamic video or anything, it would be pretty much the same way. So no need to change anything in the integration. So for this particular demonstration, we created, uh, um, uh, we assume that there is a, uh, a fictitious customer, we call it a, a Gallant University. The Gallant University is using uh, a procurement such as Coupa, which is, by the way, very popular within universities. And uh, the, the, we will show you, uh, uh, I will demonstrate you two types of uh, 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 buyers via this e procurement system. One it would be a student and one is a faculty member. Uh, and uh, uh, there will be slightly different experience in both. Now, uh, for um, each uh, um, the, the particular e-procurement e e system, which is used for uh, by Gallant University, uh, uh, is uh, um, is using the supplier which was requ required to use a, a branding of the Gallant University. So. Uh, you will see that the uh, actual um, actual um, workflow can be branded to your customer needs. Also keep in mind that you can be someone like generic that offers services and you actually do not allow white label or uh, branded. So the experience could be different. So let's actually go and try to go via experience and then we'll see. So I'm gonna log in right now as a faculty member to the uh, to this uh, cloud-based Coupa, so hopefully it will load soon. Um, so right now I am a faculty member logged into a Coupa. Every e-procurement system can look different, as you can see. I already see my recent orders. Um, uh, on the right, I can see here different suppliers. So. I'm going to choose my own Gallant University office supplier uh, uh, to, uh, to actually place the purchase. So once I choose the uh, supplier, 
the punch out to go will take care of single sign on uh, uh, passing all the information to our custom integration layer and right now we in the custom integration layer as you can see it's branded it can have a very very appealing graphic you will see that uh, it, it creates dynamic navigation the navigation taken from the uh, store floor back office so whatever you define in the store for back office as your navigation, including access rights, because you are a faculty member, uh, the uh, group already knows that you are part of some privileged group. This group was passed via punch out to go to our custom layer. And hence, while you are logged in uh, to a custom layer, we already apply uh, all the um, uh, proper access rights so you can see the content that you are allowed. So for example, I can see here invitations. I can uh, build my own uh, by build my own product. And in my build my own, I see, for example, two types of uh, uh, products. I see master program brochure and dissertation. So let's see, let's do some uh, uh, shopping experience. And actually, uh, so once I choose the product, this is where we now actually in pure use store. We intentionally didn't brand it, so you will see a slight difference between the uh, a custom uh, a custom uh, layer and actually the pure use store. Obviously, both can be branded to Gallon University Office, so users will not feel the difference that they actually move in from one side to another. Um, so now I will uh, do what uh, our customer usually do within uh, 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 by customizing uh, some uh, material in this particular demonstration. I'm going to use, uh, I want to build a master program brochure for my, uh, uh, for the one of the students that attended one of our uh, open door events. And I want to create something personal touch to it. So I want to uh, create some nice brochure for so this uh, gentleman, let's assume it's going to be uh, uh, me that actually attended as a student to the shop. So I, I'm, I choose the cover. Obviously, uh, depends on the on the template. I can brand it. So let's choose my name for and or. Actually, it could be already pre-populated, as you saw, the, the used to recognize the user, which was single sign-on and already pre-populated first and last name or some other details. So uh, this is very important if, uh, if you want to speed up the process of ordering and actually load some uh, information based on user profile. So um, I customized uh, my uh, cover. Uh, I can obviously or choose from Gallant University repository of documents of different, maybe pre-approved uh, 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 documents, or I can uh, I can uh, um, choose from my library of Microsoft documents, or I can uh, uh, choose some uh, uh, static or dynamic uh, um, parts of the document, uh, like here I want to choose, let's say, this uh, master program, and I want to choose maybe business school. Okay, let's choose all of them. Obviously, we could have had just one document that uh, have maybe all of them, uh, all three master program documents. In this case, these documents are static. They could have been uh, dynamic, or for example, I can probably maybe choose this MS Word, even though it's the same exact program. Um, mm -hmm. but uh, uh, I just add some some more programs. So uh, once I choose all these uh, programs, I also want to maybe pick up some uh, back. Uh, we choose the front uh, as uh, gray, so I choose the back also gray. Now again, there is a uh, lots of options with the store flow. We can depends of what you expose to the end customer. You can maybe choose binding type, um, uh, maybe spiral red. Um, we can maybe depend on the effect that allowed can actually apply maybe force black and white on some on some of the pages. Right? Depends if it's allow or not allow. Maybe rearrange the content. And etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. So the store flow has lots of options. 
Again, all of this is available uh, via the punch out to go workflow. As I said, that's a pure useful. Once we finish with our customization, we're going to, fi to finalize our order. Um, if I want, I can look on the final proof. Actually see the final proof. And if I'm happy with the proof, I can add it to the cart in a custom, a custom shopping layer. I can continue shopping. Let's also maybe choose some, um, uh, some let's maybe send some uh, stationaries uh, to this, uh, uh, to this student. And let's assume that that's it. That's what I want uh, uh, in my shopping cart. So once I've uh, finished with my uh, my customization and fill up the shopping cart, I can now punch out back to the e-procurement system. Some e-procurement system may allow you to actually go in and mix it with other uh, suppliers like purchase and uh, customize, let's say, a Dell computer or a Mac or whatever. In this particular case, it actually wants us to check out. So uh, I will have to uh, uh, to uh, choose or create a ship to address. The ship to address will be uh, will be eventually injected once the order will be placed by e procurement via punch out to go to a store flow. So already has. Uh, uh, here are several addresses, so let's assume I want to send it to Igor. I choose, or I can obviously create a new one. I obviously can review uh, the uh, content. Some procurements allow you to edit the order, so you can uh, 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 jump back to the uh, to your previous cart and maybe add more or customize it. Uh, this particular one doesn't allow to edit, but I obviously can delete maybe one of the items here. In the end of the day, the, the uh, end uh, client will submit the order. This is the student. Uh, mm, sorry, this is the uh, the professor. So he he also may have or may not have uh, approval process. So he right now uh, submits for the approval, and then depends of of the uh, workflow of how approval process uh, uh, set up. It may take uh, uh, some time. So the order appear eventually in use, but only after the approval. Approval can reject, can make uh, make uh, some changes, can return to the cart of the users. But in the end of the day, in some point, uh, the order will be approved, and via punch out to go, via our customization layer, the order will be uh, sent to production. So I want to review this order and um, check if, if it may be require some push. Secure There's actually order was uh, um, uh, automatically submitted. So uh, there uh, probably so if we will check right now, used or this is used to system or the back office. If we check it right now, we will see based on our time 11:29. This is the order which we just placed. Gallant University. Stationary master program brochure. We can click on the order. We can check the receipt. We can see that the or the, the ship to address was injected. Correct ship to address which we choose. The amount and etc. are correct. And now we can fulfill the order. So let's right now just sign out for a second and sign in as a student. So obviously, once the student sign in to the Coupa, Coupa also using some access rights may show different number of suppliers, may show different stuff uh, to the student, but oh, let's assume the student also want to choose the same uh, Gallon University office um, and customize some material, or maybe order some business card, or maybe upload some dissertation, and etc. So first of all, if you remember, I show I told you about access rights, and you already see here that e e invitations are not available even as a group of products. 
if I click on build my own, I only have one product here. So the so student cannot build a master program document or he can only maybe upload his dissertation and, and print it. So right now, I'm actually using different products that may have different options. As you see, the options are slightly, uh, uh, there are less options, meaning is I, in this particular case, I maybe cannot use the repository of some documents. So again, it's all about the configuration in the store flow. It can be very complex, can be simple, depends on what you want to do. Again, I'm going to choose cover, slightly different color, uh, cover. Um, again, depends on the customization. I can customize it. Uh, this particular one recognized me, so it did some pre-population. Let's keep this one. I don't have to change it. Um, and uh, let's upload our master program uh, dissertation, which maybe I want to um, I want to submit. Again, depends on the uh, or you can apply different effects to different pages if you want to rearrange. Um, again, different choices in terms of uh, whatever you configured within New Store. Um, let's choose some back. In this case, we'll choose red because our color is red. Uh, we obviously can decide on the binding again. Blue one right now. And if we want, we can even uh, preview our um, final document. Okay. So, student demo, that was my dissertation, my name. So, uh, there is some title which was dynamically uh, on a pre approved uh, Gallon University um, uh, template. Now, I can actually, probably, I would like to, to create several copies of my dissertation, one for the uh, for the faculty, one for me, maybe one for my for my my father. So I decided to add uh, several uh, copies. Now again, oh, I can finish just right now. I can continue shopping. Maybe I want to order for myself some business cards. Again, here, for example, some information was pre-populated. You will notice that, for example, my actual title as a student is not a choice if we would actually use this uh, faculty member. I would be able to change my title. So I can just change things here. Um, And again, I may use the phone. Again, it uh, depends on your choices. If you will, maybe we could have recognized that you are part of the medical school. Maybe you actually a uh, um, very uh, progressive student and you're part of several programs. So let's assume I'm part of the medical school. And again, depends on the options. I maybe need two boxes, premium paper. I can recalculate even here to see that everything is updated. I maybe want to see the actual proof and see that it's Igor Vorbejic. As you see, a student already hard-coded here, so I will not be able to, to uh, put myself as a professor. Uh, and some information, in this case, I didn't provide the phone, so no phone, just my email. Some, uh, some address was already injected before. Um, and once I'm happy with my results, I'm adding to the shopping cart and so on and so on. Now I can punch out. Uh, I'd like you to notice that we, we support as per, uh, per items, as per boxes. So let's actually add some stationery as well. So you will see that there are the units of measurement. I know this is actually also not the boxes. Just a second. 
between was something, I think the, the envelopes were uh, also, uh, maybe it's okay. Okay, I need to find one with boxes, but, and punch out. So quite a big order. And again, the same experience for checking out. I will have to choose my my address let's choose this is actually my personal address my address review my order maybe remove items maybe uh maybe do and then eventually i will submit for submit for the approval process this particular one actually does have a, an approval process that we can streamline and actually ask to bypass it just for our demo, so we will just um, actually this one also I think has no requirement. So let's check our order system. It still takes some some time. Okay, we'll wait a bit longer. In some cases, it may it may take takes uh, uh, days. In some cases, it may take hours. It all depends on the particular system and their approval process. I think this is actually the one that I need to push through. I press later on, not on the right one. Yes, bypass approval order. So I was correct. And from this moment, I think it will take a couple of minutes just uh, for the uh, automatic approval to uh, to kick in. So we'll just wait for a second. Let's wait one more minute. I think in one more minute we should see already a new uh, <coughs> order coming from the student the, okay student demo so it just took a while uh, in real life this is what will happen it may take even hours days until the approval will approve it so we do have a, a here the order with three items from the student and obviously the same story we can review the receipt and the, the great thing about it is that from this particular moment, this is a pure store flow order, meaning is everything that uh, store flow does in terms of automations, in terms of pre-press, in terms of uh, 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 stock management, in terms of uh, notifying operators automatically once the order is received, um, uh, and etc. will be taken care of. So it's a pure store flow with all the goodies that it has with free flow core integration. And obviously, if you do have any custom modules from XMPI professional services, all of them will work because as I said, it's a standard workflow and we have many integrations which we can uh, expand on some other of our seminars later. So thank you for for uh, uh, for listening to my demo. I will pass uh, uh, pass actually um, uh, to continue to uh, Christy and thank you. Thanks, Igor. Um, Carrie, I'm just going to pass you, make you the presenter. Um, just to remind everyone, yeah. if you have any questions, we're um, after um, Carrie's presentation, we're going to be. Um, taking questions, so please get them in now. Don't just rush at the end, because then there'll be no time. Um, so get your questions in now. Thank you. Thanks, Jesse. All right, can you confirm that you can see my screen? Yeah, perfect. All right, great. Um, so hi, everyone. My name is Carrie Kraft. I'm the Vice President of Marketing at punch out to go um, as Igor just demonstrated, XMPI and punch out to go have completed the complicated legwork to provide a powerful solution and tool for your business to take advantage of and begin selling to customers in the way they want to purchase, which is through their e-procurement system. 
many businesses today are just entering this business commerce um, trail. So they're trying to comply with that first customer request. Um, they have, may, may have received an RFP from the customer and they're trying to win a bid. So they're trying to understand what this type of technology is, what is punch out, how do I transact electronically in order to win that bid. With punch out to go for XM Pi solution, your business um, can already be in that position to be proactive and innovative, um, creating that competitive advantage and driving growth through a new sales channel. So how do you begin to identify opportunities? If you're selling into large to mid-sized businesses, to government, state entities, um, higher education, universities, schools, these organizations and institutions likely already use an e-commerce or e-procurement system, um, which you might not be aware of. So sometimes through a simple Google search, you can uncover a state or university's e-procurement homepage, which will include some information um, for the supplier. Um, it's also important to note that many companies brand their e-procurement system to drive adoption internally. So for example, um, the state of Virginia, they use an uh, e-procurement software solution called SAP Ariba. However, they refer to it as EVA or EVA. Um, Duke University uses a system called Jagger, um, but internally it's referred to as Buy at Duke. So if you're talking to some of your end customers, they might say, well, we use this type of system. Um, but regardless of the system, with Punch Out to Go for X and Pi, um, that technology can integrate with any procurement system. So identifying opportunities um, to sell through the procurement channel is really relationship driven. So first you need to identify the appropriate stakeholder within procurement that oversees the e-procurement and supplier management strategies. So this might be the director of procurement or supplier management or within their strategic sourcing department. If you don't have a contact within procurement, you can always ask your end user customers if you can identify those at the company in order to make inroads and navigate to the appropriate stakeholder. So once you have identified the appropriate stakeholder within procurement, um, request a meeting with them and ask discovery questions to uncover if they are using e-procurement systems to manage company spend and how they prefer to purchase from their vendors and how do they prefer to transact. Do they prefer to transact electronically? How do they prefer to transact with purchase orders, invoicing, and all those other business documents related to e-procurement and the procure-to-pay process? Also try to uncover if they have a preferred or strategic vendor model. And if they do, what is that criteria used to allow vendors to have an online catalog on their marketplace? If the company is already purchasing from you, likely they're gonna welcome the opportunity to speak with you and for you to become a preferred supplier and give you a spot to sell to end users through their marketplace. If you don't currently have business with the company, um, you can try to uncover how much spend they have within your product or service category. Sometimes procurement is willing to, to provide that information. Um, and if you're able to deliver cost savings and be able to provide an online catalog, they're going to be open to having a discussion on, and doing business with you. So we have uh, provided some example discovery questions to ask your procurement customers to get you started, which you see um, on these slides. And you'll be able to review these in more detail and access at your convenience upon um, receiving the recording of this webinar um, later today. So um, as a key takeaway uh, with punch out to go for XM Pi, your business, um, we have the technology ready for you and your business can be in a position to win new business, be able to um, win those um, bids and grow sales. Um, so with that, I'll now hand it back over to Josie for a few and Thanks, Carrie. Um, I'll just uh, share my screen. Oh, uh, you see my screen? I'm just going to make it bigger. Great. Mm -hmm. Great. Okay. Thanks so much. We've got lots of questions. 
Um, you can still ask a question, um, but we'll and we'll try and fit it in. Okay, first of all, what is the level of effort required to set this up? Who wants to take that? Uh, you probably be Igor. So um, I believe the fastest that we did with Brady was uh, in a matter of weeks right, or five days. It all depends how fast you can open up account with uh, punch out to go. Obviously, punch out to go should get uh, in touch and get all the information of your uh, customer to connect them to punch out to go from XMPI professional services side. Uh, uh, we can uh, uh, deploy it uh, uh, in a matter of several hours, and then uh, obviously the punch out to go also can uh, can create a configuration and connect. So I would realistically think that the process uh, uh, will take several days at least, uh, probably within a week. It's more also remember that you may want to brand your uh, site for your enterprise. You don't want maybe to show it to your enterprises some default branding that you may get. Um, but again, it's all realistic to do it within one week on the fastest. Uh, usually the enterprises are not that fast. The good news is that uh, uh, it's a very short space. I can ensure you that uh, yeah, that uh, to be a supplier to the enterprise, sometimes to be a pre-approved supplier can take three months after all testing they do. So once, because you already have, a, if you have a store flow, and within a week you can set it up, you pretty much uh, cut uh, any time of uh, integration to almost zero. A lot of other vendors will tell you that they can integrate, it will take several months. So time to market is very quick here. So from XMPI and punch out to go, it can be done uh, within a month, uh, within a one week. All right, and then the repetitiveness, just to add to it, this is Brady, the repetitive nature of it obviously is you know, you start off with one integration and then you're going to have others uh, that start trickling in. Um, those will speed up, right? So you probably heard me mention that we measure our integrations in hours. Uh, on average, those couple of hours do generally take, I think on average of 15 business days of integrating with your customers. Your customers are really going to nail down that, that particular time frame because as Igor had mentioned, they are obviously going to be testing and doing different things. And you may need to make some updates to the design or UI, um, what have you, but great question. What else do you have, Josie? We have one, we have a few. Um, let's look at the support services. What support services are provided? Sure, that's a great one. You know, something we didn't cover in this webinar is, uh, so in every engagement we, 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 we do, we provide our customers uh, with the punch out to go portal. Uh, the portal is, is a tool that provides real-time visibility into every movement going to and from systems. Um, it also is available, obviously, for, for customer support. Uh, we are, for production, uh, support is 24-7, 365 um, for production-related issues. Uh, but our, our customers provide or, or have um, the, the access they need also to do any type of troubleshooting that may come up. Um, but our team is always available for any types of questions. Um, because we manage the integration, uh, generally speaking, we are going to be um, notified of any type of transactional related um, issues that could potentially come up from time to time. Um, another great benefit to think about as well is that you may have customers today that are on uh, an Ariba or SAP or Oracle type of e-procurement system uh, that will eventually move to, as commerce evolves, they will eventually move potentially to other e-procurement systems such as like a Coupa or Jagger or others. Um, we're able to do those types of transitions on our application not needing to involve you. So from a continuity aspect, um, it's a very simple process. Uh, we provide all the resources that are necessary to maintain and manage that integration for the life of the relationship. Um, and I can, you know, in our, I guess our six, seven years of being in existence, I could probably count on both hands how many integrations we've seen get turned off. As Carrie mentioned earlier, it's a very sticky channel. Or Josie, I think one of you two mm -hmm. mentioned. Yeah, yeah, that was me. What, 
What about, here, here's somebody who already serves enterprise customers, so they've got regular store flow stores. Yeah. Is there still value to working through the procurement system? Absolutely, absolutely. We, we see this time and time again. We actually, it's a great story. Next door, we have a small print shop, um, and one of their customers was the state of Virginia. And they were getting just a small fraction of the business because of the relationships they have. But with technology, they're going to be able to capture a lot more. Uh, so you may be selling to an enterprise or organization um, and they be, may be purchasing for you, but you may not be the sole source. With technology, you can become that preferred vendor. Now, obviously, if you have the services to back it up um, and, the, and the support on your end. Um, so absolutely. And, and I would look at those big organizations that you are selling to. And as Carrie mentioned earlier, do a quick Google search. And, you know, if you're selling to Chevron, you know, do Chevron procurement. You'll probably find, I think they're on SAP. But you'll you'll start coming across opportunities. And those are the probably the first opportunities you want to go look at is try to find and navigate through procurement uh, to see what it will take to, to enhance your business with that organization and provide the level of expertise that they that they need and deserve. Um, this this web to print space as it relates to procurement is really an untapped market. It's a market that you should look at heavily now rather than later for others, right? So it's a very, very sticky channel. That's all I got. Okay. Um, this one uh, is for Igor. Um, from your experience, how should an XMPI customer approach organizations for adding this kind of work workflow? What should be the elevator pitch to potential clients? First of all, once you have a store flow, and everybody who does not have yet a store flow, uh, your, uh, this is the path to success. It's really easy to set up uh, demo stores, and regardless of uh, if you're providing services to uh, via e-procurement channel or via uh, other integrations or just direct B2B, it's a very, very fast uh, to create a store with uh, uh, with your store flow. So uh, I do encourage you not to be a passive and wait and answer to those RFPs. Obviously, if you have an RFP uh, for the um, e-procurement, obviously uh, Brady will be uh, happy to assist you with any questions around the e-procurement uniqueness. Uh, but you can actually today can be very confident and go there and say, I support any type of fee procurement. So you, you should have a confidence to go to the enterprises and say that you support uh, any type of fee procurement, any type of connectivity. Uh, this is not a new integration, by the way. We are already working with um, Punch Out for, for several years, and we have a, a very successful a customer which is serving very large enterprises. Uh, not always actually customers want to be mentioned in this uh, webinar. They, they, they afraid of competition, so they, they, they hide it as a hidden, uh, hidden uh, um, uh, let's say, uh, weapon against their competition. But, uh, but uh, we do have very good clients that are serving very large enterprises as in the US for universities. As you saw, actually, one of the clients was uh, mentioned uh, um, the uh, um, Royal Envelope uh, providing services to, uh, to the uh, TD Bank of Canada. So it's a financial institution. We have customers in the medical industry or healthcare. Uh, so, sorry, our customers that provide services. So uh, you should be confident that once you have a store flow, all you need to know is uh, uh, what type of services. So if the customer has any procurement, you can do it. If the customer wants to be connected to some e-commerce system, Magento, BigCommerce, Shopify, you can also connect you to that. If the customer needs some sort of a, a custom integration with their, let's say, like I showed you the repository, and maybe they want to connect the the company repository. So if, let's say Gallant University has a repository of documents, user can be with the professional services extended. So when, once you have a, a good platform such as Storeflow, you you already uh, that's already your uh, your uh, your strong weapon, 
uh, and uh, you should be actively searching for the customers. The good thing about this uh, store flow, you do not have to have any of those. You do not have to have any procurement of your own. You do not have to have a Magento. You do not have to have a Shopify, but you can approach any of those uh, systems and uh, or customers and uh, uh, and uh, and try to offer services. So if, if it's a if it's a big university, you can just go and say we support you. Probably use any procurement. If it's a financial institution, um, if it's a, a B2C customer, uh, not for the particular integration, but for example, uh, customers that using Magento, you can say okay, I can connect you. So the store flow will become a hub of orders that coming from different avenues. And all you will have to do is uh, uh, fulfill them and, uh, uh, and, and, and invoice or charge the customers. That's what you need to concentrate. A lot of sometimes suppliers, they want to be a next, uh, a next uh, Vista print, right? Or someone else. But I'm saying I can actually be much more uh, uh, successful, let's say, than Vista print without having all the, this big, huge system or online by just offering those to thousands of customers services uh, and, and they and uh, pretty much uh, uh, nobody even um, may know that uh, I do it for them because it's white label so uh, so that that's I think uh, a key here and uh, the tools and X and Pi and again we concentrate in here on web to print but um, uh, the same marketing campaign can be served exactly like this static uh, dynamic product um, and and there will be more things to come from X and Pi, uh, so all of it, it can be the uh, same way as I customized the brochure. I could have customized the full blown marketing campaign, uh, and this is probably uh, uh, what's great about X and Pi. And uh, a punch out to go uh, uh, integration is great because uh, from what I see, the, those enterprises. Uh, spend thousands and thousands of dollars of those procurement. So once they choose a supplier, uh, usually they stick to it uh, for the very long time. So uh, all these uh, um, all these uh, investment is actually re uh, returning very quickly. Perfect, Igor. Th thanks so much. Um, I think we're 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 about to run out of time. So I will say that if you've asked a question and we didn't get time, um. Uh, time for it we will we will get back to you and um, I'm going to be sending the recording shortly along with some more resources and you um, can reply to that email and email me with any additional questions um, and of course we'll be uh, very happy um, to answer you um, thank you so much um, to Carrie and Brady and Igor um, and thank you also to everyone who joined the call we appreciate you spending your time with us um, as I say, I will send the replay um, a few hours after after this live presentation. Um, and if you'd like any more information on X and Pi, um, just go to our website or contact us using the form at the bottom of the page. And of course, if you want any information about Punch Out to Go, do go to their website too. Um, we look forward to talking to you again very soon in our next webinar. Goodbye and enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you. Thank you.